Hello everybody, Chuck here. Another impromptu office hours at the Gingerman Racetrack in South Haven, Michigan. So I have met a student. We were just, he just was walking by and he said, hey, I take mine out for everybody. So I'm like, hey, let's make a video. So, hey, here's your car. We'll get a picture of your BMW. Uh, tell us your name, just first name only, and uh, why you're taking Python. Uh, my name's Chris. Um, I've been doing like IT project management for 15 years and uh, wanted to get a little deeper into the technical side, so I took uh, Python for Everyone. Uh, really enjoyed the class, uh, learned a lot, and uh, now I'm doing uh, Django, uh, Dr. Chuck's uh, Django course, and uh, loving that too. And uh, it's really fun. I encourage anyone that's interested in uh, learning about uh, computer programming to to get in there and uh, get your hands dirty and, and uh, Dr. Chuck is a, he's a great person to get you going. So tell me how you've applied some of your Python skills at work. Uh, right, so I got this uh, job working in lab automation. Uh, so we've got uh, like tube storage and picking. And uh, so I'm kind of, I built an application that sits in between the uh, tube storage area and the, the picker so that I can uh, grab that data and rearrange the tubes and put them into the racks in the new format that they're needed for. And uh, I used Python to, to get it to happen. So. I'm curious what you're expecting out of Django for everybody, because I put that course in for a very specific reason. I'm curious what, what if that reason that I came up with for that course is working. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Well, I, I, I want to develop to the internet, yeah. and my foundation is in Python, so that's really my motivation to, to go that route. So for me, I thought I wasn't so much about building web applications, but you kind of are talking about building web applications. Uh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, so for me, what I wanted in Django for everybody was I wanted people to learn object oriented programming, and I wanted people to learn uh, better Python. Right. I, for me, it's just you're using Python more in ways that in your first several applications. So, but hey, you're gonna you're gonna do it on the you're gonna actually build web things. So that's really cool. Yeah. It'll it'll be fun. So uh, yeah, I, I want. I think like so web apps deploy a lot easier. So you don't have to go to the client in order to implement it. You just change it in one place, and then anybody that goes to it, yes, yeah, oh, so, so you may be doing web apps for kind of small local things, but it basically not like you're not making a Twitter clone. You're just doing something to do your job. Right. Yeah. Okay. For, for utilities at work. So yeah. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot. Uh, do you have anything that you would say to your fellow students? Um. Yeah. Take your time and uh, do all the exercises. Don't skip anything. Make sure you know what you're doing before you do go to the next one. Yeah, I, I, I completely agree with that. You gotta, it's about mastery, it's not about speed. And uh, if you hurry through and don't remember anything, then it was a complete waste of time. So, well, here we are. Cheers from South Haven, Michigan, Gingerman Raceway. Uh, we're both gonna be going back on the track in about 10, 15 minutes. So, so, so cheers, everybody.